Well guys, just a short 52 days ago, I started a campaign on this channel. It was called the campaign to get Elon Musk to raise some money for Tesla. I started this when Tesla stock first went over $1,500 52 days ago. And ever since then, I've been making subliminal messages and videos and just kind of getting it out there in the atmosphere for Elon Musk to please raise money for Tesla, video after video. And Papa Elon loves to keep us Tesla shareholders happy. So Oh, you know what? Just like a happy Santa Claus, Elon Musk is a, a happy man and he says, I will, I will put all the Christmas presents under the tree for you guys. And by the way, Elon Musk has given himself a few other presents this year and the man is now worth a hundred billion dollars. Congratulations, Elon Musk. Let's give you some, some golf claps out there. Something like that is absolutely unbelievable. So we're going to go ahead and talk about three different things in this video. Papa Elon, he went ahead and raised some money. Thank you. Elon Musk. How did he raise this money? How much did he raise? Why did he raise this money? Okay. Number two, I'll give you my opinion on how much Elon Musk raised in this whole situation. Was it enough? Um, how do I feel about that? And number three, obviously, do I want him to raise even more money? Elon Musk, do I want you to raise more money? Okay. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, if you don't mind, smash that thumbs up. I'm super excited about this and hopefully all to you Tesla shareholders are. Helps out the YouTube channel in a massive way. Also, check out a second link in the description down there if you want to know more about my team. Okay. Got a little link down there for you. And before I get into this, oh my goodness, let's do a little celebration. I gotta say, you know, congratulations to Galileo because Galileo is getting a Model Y, it looks like. And so congratulations, Galileo. I always felt like you should have a Tesla and I'm so happy you are getting a Tesla now. That makes me uh, a very happy man, let's just put it that way. Galileo is one of my, I would say, top five favorite people on YouTube, literally, okay? Awesome dude and uh, I'm just super psyched for him. So I, you know, I thought it, it was better than just leave a comment in his comment section like, hey, congrats, man. I, th I said, let me do a full shout out in a big video for him. And uh, congratulations, Galileo, okay? Alrighty, guys, let's start rolling into this, okay? Tesla to sell as much as $5 billion of shares after rally. Tesla plans to sell as much as $5 billion of shares, capitalizing on its high flying price. And on a recent stock split that made it more accessible for individuals investors to buy. The electric car maker will sell the shares from time to time through an agreement with several banks according to a regulatory filing. The Palo Alto, California-based company plans to use the proceeds to strengthen its balance sheet and for general corporate purposes. Now keep in mind, Tesla had already, I think it was over $8 billion on that balance sheet, so they already had quite a bit of money on that balance sheet, but it's just gonna become even a bigger fortress now. And these shares are gonna be sold from time to time, so it's not like they're just raising this money tomorrow or something like that. It's gonna be over a period of of time, which could last weeks, could last months. We'll have to see, okay? Tesla is raising the money while it expands new factories going up in Germany, as we know that factory is being built right now, right? In Austin, Texas, which is just getting in the, the baby stages right now, following a recent completion of the plant in Shanghai, which by the way, the, the Shanghai plant for the most part is built, but it's actually still another section that is being built right now. Keep that in mind, okay? It's a pivotal time for the manufacturer, which faces more competition from established automakers and startups alike. Uh, I feel like that's the same story we hear all the time. <laughs> like, oh, there's more competition. And it's like, where are they? What are they doing? All we see is ICE vehicles. I mean, every big automaker out there, all their cars they're still selling are all ICE vehicles. Like, it's like, hmm, I don't, I don't know, okay? And as far as uh, startup electric vehicle companies, we haven't seen anything out there that's a real serious threat to Model 3, Model Y, or any of the big vision plans that actually Tesla has going, okay? The plan is a form of weaponizing Tesla's cheap cost of capital, Evercore ISA, analyst Chris McNally and John Sager wrote in a research note published on Tuesday, the new program could be the largest equity raise for Elon Musk's company. That's crazy to think about, okay? If it sells at least $2.34 billion under the plan. Remember, they're talking about $5 billion, okay? Until now, Tesla had raised $14 billion over the past decade through secondary stock offerings. Most recently in February, the sales have helped bolster cash during its transition from a niche electric maker to mass market, okay? So that is crazy. I'm surprised that, you know, this is gonna be by far and away the biggest, but it actually is. You know, I always remember, you know, Tesla raising a lot of money in the past, but they've, you know, mostly been kind of smaller raises up until now. 
As of last September, $5 billion would have represented a significant portion of Tesla's market capitalization, which dipped below $40 billion at that time, right? I mean, $5 billion raise, this was, this was unconceivable last year. Let's be quite frank, okay? Unconceivable. Today, it's about 1% of the market cap, okay? About 1% of the market cap for a $5 billion raise. Like, just think about that. That's how much the market cap has increased for this company. Tesla had about $8.6 billion of cash and cash equivalents as of June 30th. Banks in the $5 billion program pretty much represent every big bank out there as part of this program in the end, okay? So $5 billion raise, it's gonna happen over time, it looks like. And uh, yeah, it's a very, is uh, in terms of the dilution to shareholders, is actually a very, very small amount at all, okay? My opinion, what is my personal opinion in this whole situation, okay? I'll be honest, I wanted even more money, okay? I wanted even a bigger raise in this. I wanted a $10 billion plus raise. I, you know, I, I mentioned in the video, $3 billion, $5 billion, that was okay, but really I would have loved to see a $10 billion plus dollar raise. Keep in mind, if they had raised you know, $10 billion, you're still only diluting maybe 2%, a little over 2%, like maybe 2.2%, 2.3% or something like that of shareholder value. That's not a lot for getting 10 billion plus dollars? You know, mm, that's kind of intriguing. So I would have loved to see it even bigger. And keep in mind, all these big automakers right now, they're all on the ropes, right? They're all several years behind Tesla. And I just I just wanna see Tesla, you know, continue to put the pedal to the metal and do what it's doing, but even on a bigger scale, faster. Let's get more factories up and running. Let's, you know, if we gotta bring price points down to even get more, mar you know, mass market appeal, let's do that. Let's do whatever it takes to get the, the big, huge, massive opportunity which is in front of Tesla, which is a dominant market share of EVs long term. And I believe EVs are gonna go to 100% or very close to 100% of all new auto sales within the next decade or so, okay? And all these guys are on the ropes. That's why I'm like, man, let's just keep raising money. And keep in mind, Autonomous Taxi Network, this is a massive opportunity for Tesla. Tesla might win this, okay? I've been talking to you guys about this for about two years now. And uh, I, with each passing day, I think Tesla's gonna win this opportunity, which is essentially like, you know, imagine Uber, Lyft, but with no driver in it. As a car comes, picks you up, you jump in the car, there's no driver, it drives you around perfectly, bada boom, bada bing, you're exactly where you need to be. And this is a very costly program. This will be a very costly program to Tesla, especially if Tesla wants to have its own fleet of cars and not just people using their cars. So let's say you have a Tesla, you could have it go drive around people at night if you're not using the car or while you're at work or something like that, right? But imagine if Tesla wants to have their own fleet of cars out there, that's gonna be very costly, right? And so you need you need billions and billions and billions of dollars to pull off something like that over time. But uh, that's a massive opportunity, but it's a very costly opportunity, let's be quite honest. And this is a type of opportunity I would love to see launched within the next 12 to 18 months. I would love to see, you know, Tesla kind of perfect this technology as soon as possible, get it into, you know, uh, basically local government's hands, kind of show them what's going on here, get these things approved, and hopefully within the next 12 to 18 months. Remember, they talked a little bit about ride sharing, potentially 2020. I think that's kind of unrealistic, especially with the Roni Rona situation and them still kind of, you know, perfecting the technology. But I think it's very possible that if they keep the pedal to the metal, this could be something that's in the real world within 12 to 18 months. And that is absolutely massive. I can tell you as somebody that's a proud owner of two Tesla vehicles, a Model 3 Performance Edition and a Model X, okay, I can tell you I have the base autopilot in both of those vehicles, the base autopilot, and it can do 90% plus of the drive time for me, okay? So if I'm doing a 30 minute drive, let's say for instance, the car can do at least, you know, uh, 25 plus minutes, if not 26, 27 minutes of that drive time. It's very small things that I kind of have to take over and kind of, you know, actually overtake the vehicle. And that's with base autopilot. Think about that for a moment. But then you talk about the advanced autopilot you can get now when if you buy a Tesla, which is $8,000 more, right? You can navigate on autopilot automatic driving from highways on and off ramp, including interchanges and overtaking slower cars, auto lane change, automatic lane changes while driving on the highway, auto park both parallel and perpendicular spaces, summon, your parked car will come find you anywhere in a parking lot, this is unbelievable, right? Traffic light and stop sign control, assisted stops at traffic controlled intersections, and then coming later this year, auto steer on city streets, okay? I mean, this is all amazing stuff. By the way, if you're thinking like, you know, uh, in terms of if you're driving on city streets, actually, you know, uh, Teslas can pretty much do most of that as well, just with the base autopilot, Never mind, you know, how, how 
how advanced they're going to have it in the future. So you just think about this, man. It's just all such massive opportunities in front of this company. Very costly stuff to continue to pull off, but I think they're going to. I think they're going to pull it off. I'm going to be completely honest. It's just a question of how long does it take them to pull all this, you know, all these types of things off. Ark Invest, remember, these are the crazy folks over there. Well, let's not call them crazy because they might end up being right on this, okay? But they're the folks that have those crazy, crazy price targets for Tesla, right? Those 2024 price targets, $15,000, $20,000 plus, right? You obviously have to divide those out by five based upon where the stock price is now because these, these prices were done before the stock split. But still, I mean, we're talking about that's hundreds and hundreds of percent gain for the stock if, if this company was to do that, which is absolutely crazy. But a lot of what they have in there are basically price targets around not just this company becoming a dominant EV player and solar roofs and those sorts of things, but also the autonomous taxi network getting that launched over the next few years and starting to ramp that up and scale that up over the next few years. So, I mean, we're talking about massive potential. Keep in mind, ARC has an expected value on the stock of $7,000 in 2024, which once again, you got to divide that out by five to get the actual price that ARC expects. But still, that's, that's up hundreds of percent from here, even when you divide that out by five. That's crazy okay that's what they expect and if that's going to happen basically it's going to happen because of autonomous taxi networks and those sorts of things working out long term along with this vehicle also getting a place where they're selling millions of cars a year okay and so if i was to ask something i would say papa musk can you please raise another five billion or more if the company goes over a 500 billion dollar market cap i would love that okay if this company goes over a 500 billion dollar market cap which heck it's not that far away if it goes over there i would love to see papa Musk raise another five billion, get another five billion on that balance sheet. And I don't think I think if they raise another five billion, they will never have to raise another penny for the rest of history for this company. Let's just put it that way. I mean, even now they're probably good, but I would love to see them just get that another five billion, and they'll in my opinion, they'll never have to raise ever again as long as this company exists it would help them expand the company faster do things faster move faster and accelerate the world to where, where tesla's trying to accelerate the world to and you know when it comes to tesla's mission things like that in my opinion this company is going to be doing 100 billion plus dollars of revenue each year starting around either 2023 or 2024 2023 is my best case scenario in terms of the company starting to hit 100 billion plus dollars of revenue and 2024 is kind of my worst case scenario for the company hitting 100 billion plus dollars of revenue but when this company starts hitting 100 billion plus dollars of revenue each year you know we're going to talk we're talking about massive cash flows will start being pushed off for this business which will help take the company to to higher levels than we ever seen and as uh, cash continues to come in they'll be able to redeploy that money into more and more things because think about it like this for a moment right imagine you have a uh, 100 billion plus dollars um in, in revenue is kind of coming in for the door you know that that will be that'll be tesla fully ramp their business and this doesn't mean they won't have growth past this this will just simply mean that they're going to start throwing off major cash flow in my opinion okay major major cash flow once they ramp up to 100 billion dollars plus and so imagine this business starts to throw off you know let's say several billion dollars per year okay sb several billion dollars per year that money is going to be pumped right back into more factories which you know if tesla's going to scale to millions and millions of cars a year they're going to need to build more factories around the world right you're also going to obviously be putting into the autonomous taxi network right autonomous taxi network which is a massive opportunity so the company can start building cars for its own fleet right because i mean imagine tesla has a fleet of you know hundreds of thousands of cars out there right which is definitely very possible remember we talked about idea essentially where tesla can use people's cars that are in their garage that have you know full autonomy use those cars on the network and, and tesla can just get a fee for that but i'm sure tesla is going to also want to have their own fleet out there as well right hundreds of thousands of cars and once this business is fully ramped it could be literally millions of cars out there around the world, right? You think about the type of opportunity long term. I mean, you know, do, do the numbers on, you know, how much it would cost Tesla to put, you know, to build their own, you know, 250,000 cars in a year for their autonomous taxi network. Like you're talking about crazy revenue numbers that honestly the company would have to take the hit on that, right? Because it's not like you're selling the car to somebody else. You're taking the hit on that personally if you want to build out your own fleet. But the great news is they're, they're going to have more customers than ever buying their vehicles and hopefully that cash flow can be poured into obviously the you know more and more factories autonomous taxi networks the solar business battery business and future businesses because keep in mind 
if you think Tesla is just going to stop here, you know, and they're not going to come out with any game-changing products over the next, you know, let's say five to ten years, uh, I think you're you're you know a little mistaken. This company, what they have right now is amazing, right? Model Three, Model Y, Model X, Model S, solar roof, uh, the battery packs, all those things, right? And then you think about down the road over the next year or two, Cybertruck, right? The Roadster, the Tesla Semi, you know, this is phenomenal. What they've already shown off and what they have in the market now is amazing. But just think what this company is going to have in the market in five years from now, 10 years from now. This is a company that's not slowing down. You know, people in the past, you know, five, seven years ago, they were just thinking about Model S in the market, right? They, a lot of people weren't even thinking about the days that Tesla was going to have a Model 3 in the market that was going to be a game changer for them and a Model Y in the market that would be a game changer for them and a pickup truck that's going to be the most popular pickup truck in the history of the world, right? And so just, just expect more and more products coming and these numbers continue to get bigger and bigger. You know, there's, there's a lot of people, including myself, that believe this company will get to a place where they're doing hundreds of billions of dollars in revenue each year, okay? I think that if you're looking out to like 2026, 2028, 2030, I think this will be a company that will have scaled to hundreds of billions of dollars. And by the end of the decade, there's a real possibility, in my personal opinion, including a lot of other, you know, very intelligent folks I talk with, that Tesla will be the highest revenue company in the world. Will it be the most profitable as far as net income? That remains to be seen, okay? But in terms of pure dollar amount, okay? Pure dollar amount coming in, revenue, okay? By 2030, this could very well be the number one company in the world. And when I run the numbers, it's hard for me to not see them being that. Amazon's going to continue to expand, uh, you know, for the next decade, let's put it that way. Apple will likely continue to expand, Google, the FB, all those businesses. Very profitable business, uh, Microsoft as well, right? I don't think anybody's going to touch. I think it's going to be between Amazon and Tesla and, and on who's the biggest revenue company in the world in 2030. And I think it's a very much a possibility with the fact that Tesla will probably be moving five to 10, if not more than that, million cars a year. All the businesses they're going to produce over the next five to 10 years, an autonomous taxi network, a fleet of cars that are in the hundreds of thousands or millions of cars out there. When you run all these numbers, it's hard not to imagine Tesla being the number one most revenue company in the entire world. Does that end up producing this company to be the most valuable company in the world and the most profitable? That remains to be seen. We'll see what happens. But in terms of revenue, top line, I don't think there's another company that's gonna to touch Tesla 10 years from now. Time will tell. Um, we'll see what happens, guys. So anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. As always, uh, share it out with any Tesla fans or any Tesla groups you want. Um, you know, uh, as always, if you don't mind, smash that thumbs up button. That lets me know you enjoyed a video like this. Helps out the channel big time. And I would love to hear your guys' opinion down there in that comment section. Do you think Tesla should raise any more money? Do you think they're good forever? Um, I would really love to hear your guys' perspective and opinion on this in the comment section. I'll definitely be reading through that. And also, if you want to know more about myself and my team, go ahead and check out second link in the description down there. Thank you for watching and have a great day.